Assalamu alaikum friends in this video i will show you how to receive an html contact form data to your email address on form submission using php mailer function this is a user contact form i want to receive this contact form to my email address when user submit the form first of all you need to host this contact form to any internet web hosting server to run php program I have logged in to my GoDaddy cPanel account and I have hosted this contact form in my GoDaddy web hosting server under this domain name. These are the project file. This is the index.php file and this is the style.css file. This file I have already uploaded. Now next I need to connect my Visual Studio Code editor to my live web hosting server to access and edit this file on my local computer. I have already connected my Visual Studio Code editor to my GoDaddy web hosting server to remotely access the website file and edit remotely in my local computer. If you want to learn to do that, go to my YouTube channel and watch this video how to connect Visual Studio Code to web hosting server using FTP simple configuration. First of all, let's create a new PHP file mail.php to write PHP code. Now I want to connect this PHP file with my HTML code. Let's connect the PHP file with HTML. Write the PHP starting and ending tag and PHP statement include the file name mail.php. Next, I am going to upload this PHP file to remote web server using FTP simple extension and this folder and this file directory. The file will be uploaded remotely. Press yes. No, the PHP file have been uploaded to remote GoDaddy web server. Let's start our PHP code. First of all, I am going to write the if statement inside the if statement is set function will check when user will submit the form data. The code inside this if condition will be execute. Copy the name attribute and place inside the dollar underscore post variable. Now we are getting the user form data first of all I want to get the user first name dollar underscore post will get the use user data and the name attribute is first name copy this attribute and place inside the post variable the next we want to get the user last name And next I want to get the user email address let's create a variable with from email and the HTML name attribute is email next I want to get the user phone number variable is phone and the name attribute also is tell tell me telephone next i want to get the date of birth of the user with name date let's create a new variable date of birth and name attribute is date next the user city and state name let's create the variable city name and the name attribute is city next i am going to get the home address of the user create a variable with home address and 
the HTML attribute is address. At the end, I want to get the employment status of the user. Create a variable with employment status and the HTML attribute of it is status. Now I have get all these the use all these form data from user. Now I am going to write the recipient email. I want to get the email to this email address this is my email address when user will submit the form data an email will be received to this email address you can write your own email address here next this is the email subject create a variable subject and this is you can write your own subject line of the email I write a new message received from I want to display here the name of the sender the name of the sender is first name here the user first name will be displayed in the subject line next I am going to write the email message body create a variable with HTML content this is the email message body will be displayed first of all I want to create a heading to tag you have to write this HTML content inside the single quote email request received next I write a paragraph with ending and closing the p tag inside the p tag I first of all I want to display the client name and let's this client name will be bold using b tag next i want to display the client name as a first name and second name separately and double quotes will be a single space then last name let's close this paragraph at the end start a new single quote with paragraph let's copy this and paste this line below next I want to display the email address of the user email here write the email variable to display the email address in the email body this is the from email copy the from email variable and paste it here just copy the line below next I want to display the user phone number phone number I am copy and pasting the lines because of simplicity now next I want to display the date of birth and the variable is date of birth next I want to display the city name of the user and the data variable is city city name next show the home address and the variable is home address next I want to display the employment status of the user employment status the data variable is employment status create a header for sender info create a headers variable and inside the double quotes write the from display here the username which is the first name variable dot is used to concatenate the different PHP statement together and inside the angle brackets I want to display the user email address this is the sender email address will be display inside the single 
inside these angle brackets now go to google we need headers which will be responsible to send the html email content let's go to google and go to this tag overflow link and copy these additional headers these two headers line will be responsible to send the html email content content without these headers your browser and email provider will not render the html content in your email body next this is the php mailer function mail this php mailer function will take four arguments first argument will be the mail to this is my email address second argument is subject of the email the third argument is html content email body and fourth argument is headers let's save this email statement function result in a separate variable result no we are checking the error if the email has been sent successfully write the if statement and inside the if condition is result if the result will be true then we want to display this success message the message was sent successfully to the sender and if the email was not sent there was an error to the email we want to display this message else create a variable failed and we want to pass the message error message was not sent please try again later this is the, our php code to send email address let's save this code by pressing ctrl s now i want to display the success and error messages here create a div inside the divs create a paragraph and inside the paragraph we want to write the php tag and echo statement to display the success message here this success message will be shown to the user and below i want to display the failed message when email was not sent this failed message will be displayed to the user just above the submit button i have also already write the some css styling of success and failed messages these are the success class let's add the class to the html element success and failed classes now our code has been completed now i want to get the email to my email address now let's fill out the form fill out the form data quickly i want to receive this form data to my email address when user are filling out the form and will press the submit button and the status fill out the form now press the submit button you can see that there is the success message the message was sent successfully now i am going to log in to my email address to check if the email has been received to my email address this will take three to four minutes to receive email let's refresh my browser you can see that the email message has been just received to my email address if you not receive your email in your inbox then check your junk folder or spam folder for your email these are the same data the user have been submitted through form